Hello and welcome to Nazagawea Presbyterian Church Sunday School at Home. Today we're going to be talking about Joseph. So this is the, the leaflet uh, that we'll be using. But first, I'm going to ask you to go to the YouTube channel and watch the video. And in the video, you'll see a story about Joseph and, and some different things that, that happened to him. And we will find out why Joseph is going to prove that sometimes not all attention is good attention. So have a look at the video and, um, and then come back and we'll do an activity together. Well, welcome back. How did you enjoy that video? Some, some kind of funny parts and some, some, uh, some sort of scary parts at the end, I thought. Um, so I think maybe now that you know what I meant when I said this story is about how not all attention is good attention. Joseph got a lot of attention uh, throughout the story. So we'll, we'll, we'll just review some of the people in the story. So in the story, we saw the group of brothers. And at first, uh, uh, Joseph was at the end of the row. In came their father, who, who was kind of, um, he kind of um, called them to attention like an army general might do, attention, kind of like that. And they all respected their father very much. So he walked, the father walked along the row and was kind of going, hmm, hmm, and inspecting them. And they all wanted to make their father proud. And so they'd all worked hard that day, I think, and they all wanted their father to approve of them and be happy for them. And none of them really got much of that positive attention until it got to Joseph. And Joseph got a great big hug and laughter, and they were quite jealous. And then not only did he get, did they get uh, their father's approval and happiness with their father, but the father gave him a very special gift of a, a colorful coat. Now we're going to do a, a, a activity where we where we do something about the colored coat. But then first, first I want to tell you a little bit more about the story, and maybe you want to go back and, and watch it again if if you'd like. Um, underneath. Uh, the video, there's a description of where you can find some of the different resources if you haven't uh, um, done some of our Sunday School at Home lessons before. So after, after uh, Joseph's father, whose name was Jacob, so this is Jacob, um, after he gave Joseph his coat of many colors, and you've probably heard that story before, um, it's actually a Broadway musical called Joseph, um, he, uh, his brothers continue to be very jealous of him. And you notice sometimes in the, in the video, um, they look green, which is envy. So that's the representation of being envy and jealous um, and really wishing they could get some of that great attention from their father. And other times they're red because they're just so angry. So some of them uh, think, gee, maybe we should just beat him up. We should, maybe we should, uh, um, uh, do something like that. But the oldest brother, whose name is Reuben, familiar name, um, he said, no, 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 he's our brother and he doesn't want him to be hurt, but he would like to teach him a lesson. So they decide instead of beating him up, they would go out in the, um, uh, far away from the home, so that, that was far away from the father. They had a big pit, a big, a big uh, like hole in the ground. And they uh, grabbed him and they threw him in the pit. And they thought, ha, 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 we've got him now. But then he started yelling. He said, hello, hello. And they thought, oh, no, our dad's going to come and find out what we've done. And he's going to tell him. Well, just then, a, a man came by on a camel. And they decided instead, oh, I know. Let's, uh, let's, let's have him go with that man. And so at first, Joseph thought, oh, good, someone's here to rescue me but it wasn't. And the man took him away, all tied up. You saw his hands were tied up. And pretty soon, um, Joseph realized he was, he was in real trouble. And so he took him away to a faraway land. You could see in the pictures, the, the 
pointy sort of buildings. Those are the pyramids representing Egypt. They took him very far away from his home. So Joseph was very sad. Now there's, there's um, two more parts, I think, to this story. So if you, if you watch for next week's lesson, you'll see again what happens to Joseph. Today, we're gonna talk mostly about the attention and about his coat. So let's get ready for uh, an activity. I'll show you just a second the things that you'll need. Okay, so for our lesson today, you will need some scissors to cut apart the, the pieces of the leaflet. You'll need some tape to tape them, uh, to, to tape the papers together. You'll need some uh, colored pencils. Now I've got a pen for, for some of the writing in it, but you'll also need some markers or colored pencils. And if you can find a couple of pieces of colored tissue paper, I have some pink and some green that I'm gonna use. We're gonna make some kind of neat streamers from those. And I've just used, I've just used pieces that were like stuffed in a, a gift bag. Uh, so they're, they're kind of uh, crunchy here. I'm gonna flatten them out when it's time to use them. Okay. okay, so in your leaflet for today, you'll look on the first page and it talks about Joseph's dreams. That's actually another thing that made his brothers quite angry. Not only did Joseph get his father's attention, but he said to them while he was prancing around in his fancy coat, he said, oh, I had a dream. I had a dream that um, I was the, 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 the sun and you were stars around me and you all bowed down to me. And they thought, huh, why would we do that? Because we don't like you because he made them very angry. And so uh, even his father um, you know, didn't, didn't like him telling uh, all about these dreams, but actually his dreams were, were a, a gift and a, and a special uh, thing that he, he was blessed with that gift from God of being able to um, have a dream and then interpret it. And as he got older, he learned how to, how to figure out what the dream really meant. But that comes later uh, in the story of Joseph's life. So right now, when he shared the dream of here, of uh, so he's in the middle, and his brothers, you can see closely their their faces all around. You know, oh, they're, oh no, actually, he's not the sun. He's a star in the middle. So he's the star, the star of the show. So there's the sun and the moon on the edge, and his brothers are all like stars, and they're all, you know, he's he tells them that. Uh, that he's the most important one. And they, they're, just, they're just tired of him being the one with, that gets the most attention. So what I'd like you to do is to um, use some of your colored pencils and, um, and draw, draw something in here about what your dreams are like. Do you ever have dreams and you think, wow, that was, that was weird. Something, something that was little bits of your day all jumbled together into a, into a funny dream. There's a movie, um, about how our, our uh, kind of how we remember things and how we, we think about things called inside out. And there's a funny part where the girl has a dream in there. Um, so that, that's sort of like interpreting dreams, but you can put whatever dream you'd like in there. And then in the bottom part, I'm just gonna turn this so I can read this. So Joseph is getting the attention. And in the bottom here, you could, you could uh, put in some parts about how, when you get special attention. So some nice times when we get our atten attention is like when it's our birthday or maybe when um, maybe when uh, you're visiting at somebody's home, like your grandparents' home, or maybe when you're um, uh, playing on a sports team and you get a goal. Um, lots, of, lots of nice things like that. So you can fill in uh, this part right now. Okay, did you draw some things on your on your leaflet. You can pause the video whenever you need to, when you need some more time to do things. Now on the next page, we've got some more, some more places for you to do your, uh, your experience that are similar to Joseph's. So in the top bubble here, it says Joseph feels happy. He was very happy at the attention his father gave him. And you know, of course we are. It's always nice when somebody makes a fuss over you and you have fun. Uh, sadly though, he, you know, he wasn't thinking about his brothers, but he was very happy here. And so you can draw pictures in here of things that make you happy. 
times when maybe you have a fresh new pair of shoes or uh, a new piece of sports equipment like a, like a new baseball glove or a new hockey stick or something fun like that. So there's, there's uh, things that make you happy. And this was from the end of this, the little video. Do you remember he was not only, well, he did get pulled out of the pit, which was good, I guess, but now he was taken away, tied up and had to walk while the man uh, went on his camel. So what are some things that maybe make you sad? Have you ever, um, you ever fall down and skin your knee or something like that or stub your toe that can make you quite sad or maybe when you don't get to go somewhere that your friends get to go um, or something like that so you can you can draw a picture of when you're happy or you can draw a picture of when you're sad so i'll give you some time now you can pause the video okay did you have fun uh drawing some more some more things that are that are your happy or sad experiences just to uh Put those down and think about them. Now we're going to, uh, I'm just going to point out what the Bible verse is that goes along with this story. So this is the, the part just before the man comes and takes Joseph away. So the brothers are all up here um, and Joseph is down in the pit. And oh look, there's a, I never noticed this. So there's like a dinosaur uh, under there, like a, um, a fossil. <laughs> because it's kind of like a, a, a slice of the ground. So this is the Bible verse up here. And this is from Genesis chapter 34, verse four, 37, sorry, verse four. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and they could not speak peaceably to him. Yeah, so it, this is a, a, a very unusual story in that um, you know, a lot of people will, will say when they read this that, gee, the father wasn't, wasn't really nice to, to only uh, show kindness to uh, his favorite. It wasn't nice to have favorites. Um, but that's, that's the story. Um, so after this, we're going to do an activity with the rest of the, the leaflet. Now, if you look on the back, the back has Joseph and all of these stripes. So what we're going to do is we're gonna just cut off the back part first. We're gonna go up this line. All these, all of these um, uh, scissor lines we're going to cut. So I'm gonna start here first and start from the other end. Yeah, you see me cutting toward the scissors. <laughs> kind of going the other way. You can do it whatever way you like. So now we've got it separated and we've got the one, pull that back. We've got one big piece, and we're going to cut the strips along the edge so that we have five pieces we're going to call our streamer pieces. Now I'm left handed, so I'm going to keep doing it from the other end, but whatever hand works best for you to hold it, just cut on these blue strips. So we're just going to cut five of those. All those blue stripes are off. Just have a look at what we have left here. So we have, we have Joseph and we have a, a green, the red, orange, purple, a darker purple and another green is what we have left. And then we have five of these strips. Oops. Five strips. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some extra paper streamers. So I want pieces that are about the same length as these strips. So if I look, that's pretty close. So I'm going to cut some extra streamers. So what I'm actually going to do just to make it a little quicker is fold it this way. It's just a little easier. Then my green one, oops, oof, it's going to fall. <laughs> my green one is about the same. That's a little wider, but that's all right. I don't need very much of this, but I'm gonna stack them because it's a little easier to cut it all at once that way. So I've got it laying across here and I'm just gonna cut across here, make it a little bit 
thicker than my other one. Here's one. And two. And let's do one more. And three. This is just going to make my streamer a little bit more exciting looking. All right. So now, set my scissors down. Now I'm going to get my paper again with Joseph on it, but I'm going to flip it this way. Now, when I flip it this way, do you see about where the where I started reading the Bible verse? So kind of up above the, the heads of the brothers. We're just going to start lining up our streamers. I'm just going to line up. Let's see. I'll use two greens and two of my pink ones first. I'm going to tape those on. This part isn't going to show after, so it doesn't have to be super tidy. Tape. And there. Oops, missed that one. Do these other two. <laughs> I can do two at once. Yeah, got it. Okay, so I've got those ones on. Now I'm going to put on um, the ones I, I I cut off of the off of the lesson lay it out so that they lay out flat. And you should put them, uh, because we're going to roll this inside out, the one side, do you remember the one side had the blue stripes? We want to flip them over so that um, it's going to look like uh, the picture, but we're going to lay them out like this and then we're going to tape those. So you should see uh, like the yellow ends and a bit of red along here. We're going to tape each of those down too. Tapes are really, it's a really stiff tape uh, dispenser. You hear how much it snaps when I pull it off. You just hold those down and get them all stuck there. And you can check, you can uh, hold it up like that. Yep, they all, they all stuck. So now what we want to do is to roll it and and tape it. I can hold it with one hand. Let's see if I can do this. And then tape it with the other. A little wrinkle in my tape. Oops. And then that one. There. And you might want to put something inside to let you, to help you, you press it against it or just flatten it and then pop it back open. So now we've made, we've made a little streamer. And so we have Joseph on there and this, you've made your own little streamer. So that's kind of a fun way to make a, make a streamer. And uh, so this again was the story of Joseph and all of the attention. Oh, and you can color this too before you, <laughs> I guess I should have told you before that. Um, you, you can color. Uh, you can color his uh, his coat before you stick on the tape. Um, and uh, to remind you that you know it is fun to get to get that extra attention, um, but sometimes, like Joseph, all attention isn't good attention. So we're just gonna finish up with a with a prayer together, okay? And you can you can bow your head if you like and close your eyes and put your hands together if you like. You can just watch me, whatever you like to do when you pray. And I'll, I'll say it so that uh, I can pause and then you can uh, say the, the words after me. Okay. Dear God, thank you for giving us your attention and love always. Amen. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great week.